Hello everyone, my name is Doug Bassett and I'm the Senior Microsoft Instructor for Stormwind Epic Live. And you can notice down here I have all sorts of certifications. But the one that we're going to be talking about today is the one that is burning up the internet with flame wars. It is MCITP. In fact, MCITP Enterprise has been the premier certification for Microsoft for a while. And something unusual is happening. It seems, if you listen to all the blog wars and all the things that are going on, that MCITP Enterprise is being replaced with MCSE. MCSE? I've heard of that before. In fact, I used to be an MCSE, maybe I still am, but that was for earlier versions of the Windows Server operating system. And if you go in and look at all of the blogs and all of the discussions on LinkedIn and out on the chat lines and ah, people are freaking out, dogs and cats, ah, they're replacing MCITP with MCSE. Well, back when we were MCSEs and they came out with MCITP Enterprise, ah, dogs and cats living together, it's horrible. It's the exact same thing, that, same thing that we saw before. So what exactly is the difference? Well, let's go out to Microsoft certification site and see what it takes to become and MCITP. So you go up to Microsoft.com, go into Learning, get into Certifications, and we have all sorts of Microsoft Certified IT Professional, or MCITP. We have Enterprise Desktop Support. We have Support Technicians for Vista. We have Server 2008, 2008 R2, and we have Enterprise Administrator. And that's the one that we're looking for. That is the premier certification that is, uh, you know, you don't have to go through an oral board and all this other good stuff. And you notice that there are lots of exams associated with it. This can be kind of confusing, confusing, plus, either, or, and, or. Let me boil it down to you. In order to get MCITP Enterprise, what you have to do is you have to pass several exams. You have to pass the basics, which is Active Directory, Network Infrastructure, and Applications Infrastructure. These are the basics. What this does is it proves that you have an understanding of how all of these various systems work. You know how a domain controller operates. You know how a DNS server operates. You know how a remote desktop server operates, a DHCP server, a WSUS server, a WDS server. Lots of different servers, IP subnetting. You know how to do IP version 4 and IP version 6. You know how Win servers, the old kind of systems, operate. So once you pass those first three exams, then you have two more. You have the enterprise exam, and you also have the client exam. Now, this enterprise exam is really based upon these first three exams. So it makes sense that you take it after you take the first three. Then you have Windows 7. Now, some people take Windows 7 first. Some people take it last. It's all up to you, but it is the client operating system exam. So you have to take five exams. Okay, makes a lot of sense. You know, add it all up and how much it costs, so on and so on. But what about this MCSE thing? Well, if we go back out to Microsoft's website, and instead of getting MCITP, we go into MCSE, and you'll notice there's going to be a significant difference right away because they say it is reinvented for the cloud. Reinvented for the cloud. Okay, well, we have SQL Server. I don't know if I want to go in and start playing around with SQL Server. And we also have MCSE Private Cloud. Let's go ahead and see what that says. In MCSE uh, Private Cloud, you have to be an MCSA, then you have to pass the 247 exam and the 246 exam. And notice that this is deploying a private cloud with System Center 2012. This one here is monitoring and operating a private cloud with System Center 2012. So it looks like you have some 2012, System Center 2012 stuff you have to cover. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. But what is this MCSA? Well, in order to be an MCSA, you have to pass three exams. I wonder which three they are. They're Active Directory, Network Infrastructure, and Application Infrastructure. So if you're already passing those three exams, if you're already taking care of those and mastered that material, you are an MCSA. And you don't have to take the Enterprise exam, and you don't have to take the Windows 7 exam, you just have to take the two private cloud exams and you become an MCSE. So the process is really covering cloud computing in an enterprise environment for MCSE, whereas MCITP Enterprise is really covering all the rest of your infrastructure in an enterprise environment. When you look at the comparison that Microsoft has done between MCITP and MCSE, which is here, You'll notice that they're both considered at the expert level. Now, above that, of course, you have master, but then you got to go and get oral boards and all this other stuff. 
So MCITP Enterprise is considered the expert level, just like MCSE is considered the expert level. Now, could Microsoft maybe have made a better choice on deciding what to call it? You know, MCSE was a very highly respected certification for a very long time. Yeah, they probably could have called it something else, but the bottom line is it's Microsoft certification and Microsoft gets to pick. But uh, avoiding all of the confusion, one is enterprise infrastructure, the other one is enterprise infrastructure with cloud computing and system center. So we don't have to get all the Twitter about this and it just shows that, hey, you know what? Microsoft is seeing sort of what everybody else is seeing. If you go in and you look at how the people have been spending their IT money, according to Forbes magazine, over a third of IT budgets have been spent in cloud computing. And remember, it's like hockey. You don't want to skate to where the puck is now. You kind of want to aim to where the puck's going to be. And in my humble opinion, and in Microsoft's heavy-duty research, it seems to me that the puck is headed for the cloud.